Hello, my name is Peregrine. Welcome to the Laser Tag Nationals 2023 at Hobart. For the next 10 days, 30 teams will compete for gold in a new era of laser tag, with a new system bringing new challenges for all players, as we'll see in our first event, Lord of the Rings. In Lord of the Rings, three players square off in a small circle with nowhere to hide. It's all about staying alive as long as you can through dodging and out-timing your opponents. In these quick five-minute games, you'll see some of the sickest moves outside of the arena. These games can be some of the closest in all of the side events, often decided by a single point. Can the champ Guinea back up his performance for a second year running? Or could the hometown hero CV land back on the top step for a third time? Speaking of CV, how about doubles? An event where two player cohesion can separate the best. Doubles is very similar to teams, where players are going to pair up, try and get as many points as possible by tagging players in the arena or going for each of the three bases. That does come at a risk though. Now who's got a better chance of taking out doubles this year than our home favorites, CV and Runt? In our next event, Triples, we have teams made up of, yes, three players, but each year we play a different format. This year, it's team elimination, with the sole objective to shoot people and not get shot. In elimination, players have a limited lives to rack up as many points as they can, but once your lives are all gone, you're eliminated, and so are all those points you've gained. So staying alive and tagging others is critical. This event is arguably one of the most strategic and risky events at all of Nationals. Home favourites CV, Runt and Link look to be strong, but what about the dark horses, Crouchy, Mouldy and Hatman, who could take it home for New Zealand? Enough talk about teamwork, let's talk about solos, where the best of the best get to battle it out for gold. Last year, we saw the leg battle and brawl his way through to finals, taking out the win for his first time. Can he back that up for a second year? Or will some of the home favourites who have been lighting up the solo ladder show their talent against the stiff competition? We have three events to highlight and celebrate the huge diversity of our community. Masters, women's and juniors. In a very similar format to solos, where we're specifically hosting some of the brightest talent of our 18 and under women's and the golden oldies where we'll crown a new master. And that brings us to the crown jewel, the blue ribbon event that every team dreams to win. We have players traveling from Europe, New Zealand, and all over Australia to battle out in our main event, the teams competition. 30 teams start, three will make it to the grand final, but only one will win. Every team must balance their attack, defense, and arena control while under pressure from two other teams. This event requires every element from team strategy, solo skill and communication to be able to perform at their peak. The last three finals have been separated by the smallest of margin, only a few hundred points, meaning that every single tag is important. Will Queensland continue their dominance as they have for the last seven years with reigning champions catalyst? Could another state take on Queensland like the revitalised Adelaide teams, Apex and Aftershock? Perhaps New Zealand can make a resurgence with the fresh and highly rated Cobras? Or will the home favourites who have dominated every pre nat so far, the Hobart Vikings, take dominance in a new era of laser tag?